QR code on screen. Junior prom is coming right around the corner. Tickets and guest passes are $60 and can be bought at the student store. The due date for guest passes is March 3rd, and the last day to buy tickets is March 8th. Now let's pass it on to Andrew and Damon to see what's new in the news. Good morning, I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos, and this is your In the News Update. In East Palestine, Ohio, a train carrying hazardous materials derailed on Tuesday. This disaster prompted environmental concerns and chemical fears for residents as the derailment released toxic chemicals in the creeks and surrounding areas. A special grand jury report on whether former President Donald Trump and his allies tried to unlawfully interfere, interfere in the 2020 election in election results in the key battleground state shows the grand jurors believe some witnesses may have lied under oath. A majority of the grand jury believes that perjury may have been committed by one or more witnesses that were testifying. The newly unsealed portions of the report also reveal new information about the scale of the investigation, but do not shed light on who the grand jury believes should be charged and for what, besides perjury. The grand jury received evidence from, from or involving 75 witnesses in person and under oath and heard extensive testimony on the subject of alleged election fraud from poll workers, investigators, technical experts, and state of Georgia employees and officials. Two sheriff's deputies who were suspended in the Tyree Nichols case didn't keep their body cams on after they went to the location of Nichols' violent arrest. The deputies were suspended for five days without pay for failing to keep these cameras and in-camera video turned on while they were at the arrest location nor did they notify dispatch or their supervisor. The sheriff's office does not believe that the deputies will face criminal charges. On Monday, a gunman killed three Michigan State University students and wounded five on campus. He used two legally purchased 9mm handguns, nine loaded magazines and with more loose ammunition and a note listing other potential targets when law enforcement found him walking near campus after the shooting. The shooter was found walking 3.8 miles northwest of the campus and when he encountered law enforcement, he produced a weapon and then killed himself, according to Officer Gonzalez. That's all the news we have for you today. I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos. Back to the anchors. Nice news, new news. Today is the last day to change your name to your diploma. If the name on your, on your synergy is different than your legal name, or if you want your full, want your full middle name, Please print out the form in your Synergy email and bring it to school. School register or email Kathy Barney at kbarney at ugc.net. On February 24th and 25th, Hype Dance Company will have their World of Fantasy Showcase. Premium seats are $12 and for general admission, they'll be $10. You can purchase tickets online at hypedance.ludus.com or at the student store. Please bring your student store receipt to Ms. Hendricks in the dance room room or show your seat at the door. Pre-sale ends February 24th. For more information, please contact Ms. Hendricks. Now let's check out the BSU fashion show from last week. Thank you. Describe best as a traditional Malian ensemble dress. It's made out of a material referred to as wax, and it's used for short war. I'm Willem Moa. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Almond Day, Wolf Pack.